Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making the explosive Kraken drive and you can see on the screen here I'm just showing you how to make it. Essentially the fuel tanks that you use you need to make sure that the methane is as low as possible. Not zero but as low as possible and make sure you have oxidizer full and so and you can use this on uh, different fuel tanks and the way it works at, at least I think the way it works is that when you do burn off the methane the remaining oxidizer seems to just get jettisoned out in one big explosion and that creates a great amount of force and you will see here in just a few seconds and boom and you're gonna get propelled forward I've seen that we've we've been able to reach around 900 G's of force which is uh, quite crazy and as a result it's a bit challenging to keep every part together uh, in this particular case I was thinking that maybe aerodynamics would play a role so I had some nose cones and stuff but yeah everything kind of just plops off so um, especially with larger fuel tanks that contain more oxidizer I think those seem to be more explosive and have a greater amount of force uh, at least that's my theory thus far you can use small fuel tanks and I don't think the engine plays, the actual engine plays too much of a role. I mean, it's good at burning off the methane that you would have, just so you can, you know, very quickly get into this uh, Kraken state. But, I mean, it's all glitched out. You see the, cra the Kerbal on the top there is just moving around non-stop. And, you know, sometimes the cockpit kind of freezes. It's kind of rare, depends on the craft. I, in this particular case, um, I've obviously tried this quite a lot. Um, I kind of left the uh, Kerbin's, Kerbin's sphere of influence, so we were gone. And this happens it, most of the time. Either you'll just get kicked out, or you will end up just exploding. Particularly with, you know, larger fuel tanks. Because as I said, I think smaller fuel tanks, um, with, the, with the amount of oxidizer in there, it's not as much of a boost, but certainly you get enough of a boost to maybe go into space like virtually instantly i mean just you know it takes a bit of time to travel but you end up getting a quite a fast speed and in this particular case um i ended up going like super close to the sun in just literally one shot that's all it took and uh, i think we're so close that the uh the game gets a bit glitched out but you'll see here uh the map view is just a bit confused yeah, um, I don't think I went into the sun at that point, but it's pretty damn close. So, and, and super bright. So, I guess if we had like a career mode, then this would be like the most efficient way. This is the best view, by, by the way, like being able to fly like this in the air. And look at the speed, we're at 12,000, over 12,000 meters per second, and we are gone. And we, th we went through quite a bit of atmosphere just then. If it was KSB-1, I suspect that we would have probably slowed down to the point where we wouldn't have went very far. But in this case, uh, I think the atmospherics are a bit different at the moment. So I'm sure they'll be fixed. And this is another instance where I just got kicked out of the system. Just happens a lot. Yeah, look at that. 4,000 meters per second. So, yeah, the Gs kind of vary, so it's a little bit inconsistent, especially with, uh, as I was saying, larger fuel tanks. And if you use small fuel tanks like these here, um, sometimes you can actually keep the first stage. So the... Or the last stage, I guess. And so this stage here enables me to, you know, we, get it, we at least get into space, and then from there we can decide where to go. So we're at a kind of a very high apoaps there. And basically, you just warp to the edge and then do your next burn. And so the next burn also utilizes the, the explosive Kraken drive. I, I assume this is still counted as a Kraken drive. I mean, let me know your thoughts. I think it is, but it's a little bit different in the traditional sense. You know, you, you might have like docking ports or there's another Kraken drive in KSP2 where... Um, you have the engine and have like a certain part in front and that kind of boosts you forward. But this is more explosive. And look at the speed, we're at 500 meters per second. And then instantly went to 3,600 meters per second. Instantly. So, you know, you can imagine there's quite a lot of Gs. Surprisingly, um, smaller fuel tanks, at least in space, seem to be able to take the hit. 
but I don't know, in the atmosphere, I don't know, it seems like it's a larger impact, as you would kind of expect. And in this footage here, this is probably one of my best attempts, actually. Um, I managed to get a very high apoapse, and um, we went further than the moon, so we're pretty close to Minmus. I guess if Minmus was, like, near where we were at the edge there, then perhaps we would have got an intercept. But, um, so yeah, I was going to do my, my next burn. And, yeah, using the Kraken Explosive Drive. Kind of a long name. I was thinking about calling this the uh, Kraken Warp Drive because, I mean, you're kind of warping forward at crazy speeds, but I guess that's what Krakens usually do, so. And I was wondering what that was just then, how the camera changed. And it looks like we were going to crash into the moon, which is one of those rare occasions. But you see how easy that was. It, it wasn't much effort whatsoever. You don't have to be a scientist to use this thing. You just need to make sure you attempt it multiple times because it will explode and sometimes it's random. Um, in this case, it didn't really give me much of a boost. But anyway, at this point, I was thinking of trying kind of like an SSTO design. And I mean, you know, utilizing the, uh, the Kraken here is, is insane. And I don't know, the plane for some reason starts to turn. Um, I think I needed to have some more stability in this particular design but i kept going with it because this was kind of my one of my first more early test runs and, and you see what i've done in the back there well, in the middle i've basically got the uh kraken drives where you know as a, again i've got the methane um not zero but the lowest level possible and full of oxidizer and well, yeah, when it kind of boosts you forward the whole the whole structure of the plane just shakes and it, it can shatter so it's very dangerous, as you can see there. Uh, I do recall having struts, but maybe that was on a second design. I don't think struts are going to last long with that kind of impact. So it's it's difficult to harness. There are, obviously, as I said, there was another um, Kraken drive that's a bit easier, or a lot easier to control than this thing. And here is my final attempt of the uh, SSTO. So it's not the best. I decided to put a few more engines in there just for a boost. And I've got massive, I've got those large fuel tanks in there with a lot of oxidizer to just to give that, just to give us a big boost and see how it goes. But unfortunately, it's a bit too powerful. So anyway, I'm going to uh, probably share this on the uh, bug page in the KSP forums. And I'll share one of the, uh, the first designs of this thing in the description. You can make it yourself with any fuel tank and engine, I believe. So... But give it a go, hope you enjoy, and see you next time.